you're in New York looking for an authentic South Indian dosa, venture out to the Ganesh Temple in Queens. In the basement of this Hindu temple, they're dishing out three meals every day and a total of about 20 varieties of dosas. New York Magazine, Zagat, and the New York Times have all dubbed the temple canteen's dosas some of the best in the city. And some esteemed visitors like Anthony Bourdain and Padma Lakshmi have stopped by to savor the dish. This is a 40 minute ride for us to the temple and I do it every Tuesday because I love the food and visiting God is the excuse I give my family. Everybody from India, they like this South Indian food. Hey guys, I'm Mitha. And I'm Abby. And we're here at the Hindu Temple Society of North America in Queens. And we're about to try some dosas. I'm pumped. I've never had dosas before in my life. And I've seen these on Instagram and they look delicious. So which one are you excited to try out? I'm excited to try out the one that's like the length of the arm that I've seen all over the internet. And what's so cool about this temple canteen is that there are a variety of dosas. They sell so many kinds and it's hidden inside a basement. So let's go find it. The Hindu Temple Society of North America, also known as the Ganesh Temple, was founded in 1970. The temple canteen soon followed, in the basement of the temple in 1993. At first, the canteen prepared only naivedyam, or food offerings, to Hindu deities. Every day, first, first of all, we make a prasad for Bhagawan. After that, we make a item for the canteen. Here, the chef are all the pandits, the brahmins are all brahmins. Eventually, it began dishing out its iconic dosas for temple goers and visitors alike. Even in the temple, everybody is invited to come. So why would we differentiate in the canteen? I tell you, food anywhere will bring people together. The canteen caters to a strict Hindu vegetarian diet. So the dosas are filled with ingredients like potatoes, onions, and Indian spices called masala. The origins of Indian food in America are complicated, but many agree the cuisine likely showed up on the West Coast in the early 1900s According to NYU professor Krishnan Dure, who's been studying the cuisine's rise for almost two decades, advertisements for Indian restaurants appeared in New York City's white newspapers in about the 1920s. But it wasn't until the 1980s that foods like naan and tikka masala became more common. South Indian food, however, didn't often show up on menus. Today, of the roughly 400 Indian restaurants in New York City, Ray says only about 50 of them serve South Indian cuisine. And the one dish that's keeping South Indian food alive? The dosa. Everybody knows what dosa is, what idli is, what uh, what I is, everything. But in the beginning, going back 20, 30 years ago, it was almost uh, unknown, practically unknown. And it was only being made in the homes, really. And maybe in some big restaurants, if you go down to the city, where you pay arm and a leg for that. So here, when we started this, and it's not only for our community and the local people started coming. So once they come, they have the taste. It just brings them back here again. The temple canteen still sits humbly, as it always has, in a temple basement, complete with folding chairs, paper plates, and some really good dosas. This gets as close to mom's food back in India as it can. Dosas are traditionally vegetarian, made from rice flour and lentils. Uh, for dosa dough, we are making the soaking the rice overnight and then white lentil together soaking overnight and then grind it here and then keep aside for one day for fermentation and then we are making dosa. Chefs ladle the batter onto the grill, spread on vegetarian toppings and fold the dosas into a triangle, cone or cylinder shape. We decided to try the three most popular dosa varieties. The Pondicherry Masala, a triangular dosa stuffed with onions, green chilies, a spicy mixture, and potato masala. The rava dosa, made with cream of wheat as well as onions, green chilies, and coriander mixed right in the batter. And the paper dosa, a giant crispy version of the dosa that is just the batter cooked up with ghee. All of the dosas come with two dipping sauces, sambar, a spicy lentil and vegetable gravy cooked with a special curry powder, and a green chutney made from ground coconut, ginger, and green chilies. We are making here uh, so many varieties of dosa, around 20 varieties of dosa here. Normally weekdays uh, 10 to 15 varieties of dosa and then weekend we are more varieties of dosa here. People are coming and eating, enjoy and then. Ayo! 
When you're eating a really good dosa, what does it taste like? What does it feel like? There's so much that's involved in the dosa, and coming together, all the flavors just really pop in your mouth. It's super, super flavorful. So that's what you have to look forward to. This definitely has a kick to it. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say this is a five. Yeah, yeah a yeah. five in spice level, which is good because it's not overpowering the dosa at all. No, yeah. It can, you can still taste the interior of the dosa, which consists of onions, corn, potatoes, so many different vegetables inside of here. Now that I've done a second dip into the sambar, yeah. the spice level has definitely kicked into like a seven. Now it's in the back of my mouth. Yep. Yeah, but it dissipated pretty quickly. If you oh, yeah. do not like spices, then chutney is the way to go because it'll definitely like soften it up, make it easier. If you don't have a spice tolerance level that's very hot. So you always eat it with your hands? Yeah, because most, most Indian food, you don't really need forks or spoons. Like It's very traditional to eat it with your hands and just dip it into the sauce. How lucky am I that this is my first experience with dosas? You're pretty lucky, Abby, <laughs> because I don't think anyone has these many dosas when they really? try it out the first time. Because what if you or someone who likes the pondicherry masala right. dosa, and you wanted a filling dosa, you know, a dosa with a lot of filling, and you ordered the paper dosa? It's very different. So each one of these items is very different. And you would think, eating this food, how good it is, that this is all this place does. But this is, this is not even why this building is here. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing. It gives you a feel of nostalgia, like it's almost like visiting mom every Tuesday. <laughs>